In today's video, I'm going to be giving you a complete beginner's guide to Ping One. If you find this video useful, please consider liking and subscribing, and let's get right into it. The first thing we need to do is head over to their website, which is pingidentity.com, and we're going to be going over to the single sign-on section here. And from here, what we can do is go and press the try ping button. By doing this, this is going to give you the uh, options to sign up for an account, just put your email in, uh, a little bit of information about your company, and then we can go ahead, verify the email, and they'll give us access to their platform. This is what it's going to look like, and you can go ahead and you can begin the MFA enrollment. So just press continue here. So first of all, it's going to ask you to select a MFA method. MFA stands for multi-factor authentication. Basically, it's like a it will send you some kind of notification to ensure that you are the one logging in. So we can do email, we can do authenticate app, or we can do passkey. It really depends which one you want to pick. Email is obviously um, going to be sent to your email. Authentic app is going to be an app on your phone which has a, a code on it. And then passkey is going to be a key that you save on your device which you uh, basically give to them each time. I'm going to select email, but you can select whichever one is best for you. I've gone ahead and I have put the email in, it's going to send me a passcode, I have to put that in here and that will allow me to sign on. So here we are inside of the um, software now and you're going to see there's a welcome banner up here and they're going to prompt us to click on get started. When we click on get started it's going to give us two options here so we can either um, create a customer solution or a workforce solution. A customer solution is you need to design identity experiences for customers um, and you want to design and test it quickly or this is one that you create for employees. So depending on the one you want to create, go ahead and click on that. I'm going to start with the customer one here. So it's going to ask to tailor your experience, what is your industry, uh, select this as best as possible, or you can go ahead and press skip. Now I'm going to press on retail, and it's going to start by creating our environment now. And you can see it might take a few seconds to load, but here we go, it's just creating uh, all of the solution stuff here and it might take a second to load but just give it a second. Okay so now it says your solution is ready we're gonna press get started it's gonna give us a little bit of a tour, or tour explaining how it will work so this is how you design it here uh, this is how or well, this is the sort of sample app um, that it's gonna look like for the user in the end and then you have your customizations here and you also have some um, other bits here that you can deal with. So if we first of all look we have our design a solution bit here so we can go to the registration here and we can select the registration experience we want so we can have passwords or passwordless it's up to you um, and you can offer passwordless if you want or you can require passwords uh, you can just select which one you want um, and then you can select the passwordless options so you can have one-time password um, you can have SMS one-time password, you can have email magic link. Now you're going to have to verify your emails and stuff like that to get these features. And you can also have the pass key as well. You have to go ahead, click this here. Um, that's to include a service agreement. I'd recommend having that. And now you can go ahead and press next. It says your users will sign on using the passwordless authentication methods you selected in the registration step. So from here we can press next. Uh, we can select the profile management here. Um, we can select the account recovery settings and we can go ahead and press save and now we have set up our registration stuff here so people can uh, sign on with an account that kind of thing um, and we can now experience it so we can test it out if we click on this sign on button here you're gonna see it's gonna give us the um, options here where we can register for an account all of that kind of stuff so we've basically just created that sign on uh, sort of option for our site there. Uh, just you can go ahead and test it out to make sure it all works how you expected. Now what we can do down here is we can go ahead and edit our users and stuff like that. It might take a second. Um, we can go ahead and we can create a new user here. We can give them a name, family name. So um, given name is like their first name, family name is their last name. We can give them a username, put their email in. And we can even select them a password, that kind of thing, and press save, and that's going to add a user to our account. Now we also got groups, we can group users. Uh, this is useful for um, many different reasons. You can create a group here, the group name, the population, um, any properties, metadata properties about them, you can add that in. Um, populations here, you can go ahead and create these as well. So um, this is just where you can store users, things about them. Um, you know departments organizations all that kind of stuff here user attributes 
so you can add user attributes which you can assign so you've got all of these different things um, you got like email address that kind of thing and then lastly we have our admin roles here so admin roles is for adding admins to our um, accounts obviously it might take a second to load but you can go ahead and add them in it's pretty self-explanatory really so now if we go to applications we have all of the different application things up here we have the applications we already have so we have the um, self-service account all that kind of stuff get started we can go ahead and add one here we can create a name for it I'll just put test a description an icon and then we can create or add the application type so we might want a single page we might want um, device authentication whatever it is you can go ahead and select one so I'm just gonna put a single page here um, press save and then inside here we're going to get all of our different IDs, stuff like that, um, and all of the basically different things you might need in here, you can go ahead and access like that. Once you're ready you can go ahead, you can turn it on like that and that's going to successfully save that. Um, and then you can go on and select how you connect to it, um, you know, all your different things here, just basically to test it out and that kind of stuff. We have the application catalog, so this is just all different um, applications you might want to use to sign on with, so we could add this here, um, we can connect it up, the, the integrations are very easy to use. Uh, resources, so that's just, you know, these things here, so you can, you know, request access, that kind of stuff. And then we have our application portals here as well, so you can apply the active theme you can add some links, all that kind of stuff. Next up we have our authentication, so we can actually set up these different authentication types here. Uh, you can see we've got multi-factor, single factor, uh, and you can go ahead and create some, you know, um, you know, external provider, you can select all of this data here. We've got passwords, which is self-explanatory, this is setting up the different password stuff. Um, and if you go here you can edit it, configure it, um, you know you can set the password requirements so it must be this amount of characters it must have at least one of these so you can just change the kind of rules for passwords for your organization you've got your multi-factor authentication which you can change as well and then you have this here which is your passkey authentication stuff now here you've got your threat protection so you can change um, you can block IPs you can you know do different things like that um, just to give a little bit of extra security based on suspicious activity, that kind of thing. And you also got identity verification if you want to verify people's IDs before they sign in. Uh, the last thing that's pretty useful here is we have our integrations here, so you can integrate different things via webhook or you know different gateways. And then we have the user experience here, so you can go to the self-service tab. Um, you can see all of your notification templates here, notification policies, uh, your settings down here which is just domain, sender, all that kind of stuff uh, right there. But that's a real base overview of the platform, how it all works. Um, and you can kind of play around with it for free to just to test out that it all works um, by signing up for an account. So if you enjoyed the video and found it useful, be sure to like and subscribe. Comment down below it helped, and I'll see you in the next one.